Hello guys, this is MCB Digital, and today what I'm going to be talking about is something that a lot of people are asking me to do, and it's basically just cutting out in Photoshop. It's one of the simplest things to do, but if you don't know how to do it, it's not that simple. So what we're going to be doing is taking this picture of a businessman and putting him in the background right here, and you can do this with any, with any photos that you have. You can use photos that you've taken of yourself and put them in any kind of cool background. It doesn't matter. I'm just using this as an example. And I have the links to these two photos in the description. They are not mine. Just to make sure, just so any copyright reasons don't get in the way of this video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is focus on this picture, first of all. We're not going to be doing much with this picture. Um, what we're going to want to do, the most important thing to do right now is unlock it. And the way to do that is come over here to your layers panel. If your layers panel isn't over here, go to window and go down to layers or press F7 for a shortcut. Now, as you can tell, it is locked because it has a locked over here. So to unlock it, all you have to do is double click it and this pops up. It's a new layer panel. It asks you to name the layer, and you don't have to do much except just name it. You don't have to name it. You can just leave it as layer zero. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it as layer zero and click OK. All right, now that I've done that, the layer is unlocked, and I can start playing around with it. So what I'm going to do is make it larger so, of course, I can zoom into it and work more. So I'm going to come over here and grab the zoom tool. I'm going to zoom in maybe twice. And then I'm going to hold shift so I can use the hand tool and come down and I think this is the bottom. And what I'm basically going to be doing is using one specific tool to trace this businessman, go all around him and cut him out. And that tool is the pen tool. It's this tool right here. Um it's very easy to use and it's very effective a lot of people use the pen tool to cut out but most people use the eraser tool I do not know why it's very unprofessional because it's very hard to go around it even it actually takes more time than the pen tool the pen tool is actually easier and it's more professional that's what most people use so what we're going to be using is the pen tool definitely so come over here and grab your pen tool and what we're going to be doing with the pen tool is, of course, as I said, tracing around his body. And I'm going to keep the chair and the briefcase because those are two things that might look professional inside the photo, also with the picture of him. So what we're going to want to do is just click on a place that we're going to start. I'm going to start down here at the chair. And actually, so you can see it better, I'm going to start right here at the head. Now I'm going to go this way counterclockwise so I'm just gonna start right at the back of the neck right there I'm just gonna click and as you can see I click and I have the dot right there and that dot is basically where we're gonna start off and where we that's what we're gonna work with when we go around this entire body and so now all we gotta do is trace around them so let's start doing that and just click and drag and make a nice little curve on where you want to go around. Actually, I'm just going to start right there. Make a few nice curves. And you don't have to go as fast as I am. I'm not really going that fast, but um, I just like going fast because I don't like wasting any time. Whoops, just messed up. See, sometimes when you're going fast, you mess the photo. Maybe curve it a little bit more. Right there. Alright, and as you can see, this is one thing that I wanted to go over. Um, I just clicked because I wanted to make a straight line. But what actually happened was it curved. As you can see, it made a little curve right there. And when I click over there, it curves. Why does it do that? I want it to make a straight line. Why does it curve? Well, it's because I made a really intense curve over here. As you can see right there, all the way down the leg, I made a curve down there. And what it, what it tells Photoshop to do is to make another curve that's similar to the one I just made, like we're making a shape. I don't really know how to explain it that well, but that's basically what Photoshop is doing. And to tell it not to do this, all you got to do is hold the Alt key and click on the middle dot. Click on the middle dot 
what? I can't even pronounce a dot. Click on the middle dot right there that's in between the two. And when you do that, one of the little lines goes away, which indicates now you can make a straight line, which is really easy. It's a nice little tool to know. Something really important to know around. I'm just trying to go really fast. Actually, I'm going at a normal speed. This is usually the speed that I go with. The one thing, the one reason why I like doing guy cutting out pictures of, well, I don't want to say that because it's going to come out wrong, but if I had a choice between cutting out a picture of a guy or a girl, sorry for that noise, it's a vacuum. Um, someone's vacuuming upstairs. If I had to choose between a guy or a girl, I would choose to cut out a guy because the girl is definitely harder with the hitter, and I just really can't get with all that it's very difficult and alright as you can see we have made it back to where we have started so the way to end this path is just by basically clicking on the little dot that we started from and the path closes as you can see now it is a straight line it is no longer little dots and this is exactly what we want don't think that you messed it up because you didn't you just did exactly what you're supposed to do and now it's time to do the final steps. What you're going to want to do is basically come over to the paths layer or the path tab. If the path tab is in here. Of course, go to window and go down to paths. Sorry for the noise. Paths right there. And when you click on that, you can see the path you've just made because you can see the picture of the guy without the background just traced out. And what you're going to want to do is right click the path and go to make selection and this pops up when you do that and it says a bunch of stuff like feather radius operation for feather radius the thing you're gonna wanna do is feather radius it's not that important you can just put it at zero I put it at zero but if you want there to be a little glowy outline around him then just make feather radius one or two don't make it too large makes the photo look messed up and for operation make sure it's on new selection not add to selection not subtract from selection not intersect with selection new selection of course it won't let you choose any of them but new selection is the most important one of these and then click OK and now he is dashing he okay that sounded really um how should I say this happy sounded really happy no, um, <laughs> he doesn't look really dashing. Now there's a dashing line around him. And what that indicates is it's now a path. And, um, now if you try to delete it, you can delete it. Whoops. You, if you, you always have to select the layer if you're going to do something. And if I try to delete it, you delete the guy, which is exactly opposite of what we're trying to do. So just press Control Z or go up to Edit, Undo Clear. What we're going to want to do is go over to select and choose inverse or you can press shift control I. What that does is instead of selecting the guy, it selects the background so it does exactly the opposite. And that's exactly what we want. So now we're set and just click delete and magically the background disappears. I really screwed up his nose while wow, I give him a bad nose job. Looks like Michael, well, I'm not going to say that Michael Jackson passed away. That's you can't say Michael Jackson jokes anymore because that's really wrong now since he passed away. Michael Jackson, rest in peace. Alright, so now I'm just going to minimize him. Yeah, I, I don't think that Michael Jackson did anything wrong. I just think that he was accused falsely. And, um, I just, I like all of his songs, definitely. I just don't like, you know, what he did to himself. I don't know why I'm talking about Michael Jackson right now. That's not, that's completely opposite of what we're talking about. And now as you can see, the background is checkered. You might think that you did something wrong, but actually you didn't. That's a good thing. That means that if you put him on another picture, then there's not going to be a white background. So just drag him into this picture and voila, he looks crappy. But um, that's because I spit, um, I went really fast on him. But um, it doesn't really matter. We've done this. This is just an example of what you can do with Photoshop. If you have any questions, just comment in the comments below. Um, this was How to Cut Out in Photoshop by MCV Digital. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.